All right, we got Tesla right here. Okay. And I've built a strategy that I really want to share. Now, this strategy I can only name as the one that you want. Um, I created a lower plot study and an upper strategy. Um, and if you go into your global strategy settings, click display floating pl you know, PL study with strategies, default contract size, hit apply, hit OK. All right, so what is this scalper plot study, okay? Now this scalper plot study is meant to tell me every time the pivot low and pivot high are present on a chart, okay? Without using the TTM scalper, all right? So as you can see, the white arrows being the TTM scalper, and we will change the one that you want over to apply, okay? Now see, here's your TTM scalper, and the up arrows will all line up with these green spikes, and the red arrows all line up, okay? Now, we're charting on Tesla. Let's look at B&O here, all right? And looks like some good solid action here too. You know, it gives you a good solid buy and a sell signal, okay? Now, how did we make this? Because, and make sure you hit that like button for me showing you guys how to make this and whatnot, uh, you know. Like, subscribe, that way I can show you how we're going to use this, because in the next video we're going to use this to trade. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So you definitely want to subscribe uh, if you want to see how to complete the rest of the process, because we need to build it you know, together before we can use it. Otherwise, why would I just use it for myself? I want other people to have it too. Um, not only, you know, I want to share the wealth, not just keep it all for myself. So, that being said, make sure you like and comment below. Let me know, you know, say, hey, thanks for sharing. You know, I mean, that really helps a guy's confidence. So, yeah. Okay. So, what did we do, though? All right. So, uh, well, we can see things are a bit touchy here, um, and it's hard, you know, they don't allow you to use any of the code. Um, by use any of the code, I mean, you know, Thinker, the Swim doesn't, you know, source code isn't available. Doesn't mean you can't use it, it just means that you're not allowed to have all of the code as compared to the inside of one of the other indicators, you know, that gives you, you know, bunches of other information you know, um, all kinds of stuff. So, you know, that's really all that that means, is that we're not privy to all of this information. Uh, but that doesn't mean we still can't use it, okay? So here is exactly how we're going to use it, okay? We'll come in here, and I decided we needed to make one of these lower, you know, plots, all right? So what we'll do is we'll go into our TTM scalper and we'll copy all of this, okay? We'll copy it, all right? And you'll come over to your studies and we'll create one of our studies, okay? And you'll paste right in here, yeah. You'll paste it in there, but since we've already done so, okay. Now, all right, but you still need to get this plot, you know, pivot low is true, pivot high is true, okay? Well, where does that come from? All right, so we have to build that part. So let's go over to our scanner, and we'll do the ask, $2.50, doesn't really matter, and then you'll come over and click your pencil, you'll add your condition, you'll find your condition, you'll find your study, and you'll go TTM, you know, okay, scalper alert, and we'll say pivot, you know, low is true within one bar and hit save. So now we've got pivot low is true and pivot low is true, okay? Or you would say and pivot high is true, okay? But we only want one for now. So we just want the one, the pivot, you know, low is true, okay? And then below it, you could go in and type pivot high is true, okay? 
but we don't want to make any changes, so we'll just hit cancel. All right, and we'll come back over. So now that we've done that, all right, and you can see what we end up with. You get, you know, for your lower study, you get plot data, and then pivot low is true, and I just changed this to pivot high is true, okay? I gave them, the, you know, I pasted it twice, changed this to high, made sure that was low, and named this data one. Of course, if we want it to be even, um, you know, better, uh, you know, programmers, we don't have to call it data, we can call it um, the buy, you know, and we can call this, the cell, okay, and we'll hit apply, we'll hit OK, we'll hit OK, all right, and now we have those conditions built in our computer, all right, so we can call upon them, um, to do, uh, study-based orders, okay, but we want to know how that study would work out, would that particular strategy make us money? Well, that is what we did here. So we took our pieces of code from our scan, and we built a strategy. So we came over to the Strategies tab here, and we clicked Create, okay? And we created a strategy and defined Buy equals Data and defined Sell equals Data 1, okay? And then we can even define some other things like trade size and whatnot, but that's not that important. Okay, then we add our order, order type, buy auto, or buy to open, okay, and then sell to close, okay, all right, everybody with it so far? All right, sweet, so we'll hit okay, and now let's go in here, we'll hit show study, we'll hit okay, we'll hit apply, and here's what we get. All right, so when the condition is true, we get a buy order, okay? When the condition is true, we get a sell order, okay? So, and we can see that that's a fairly accurate, you know, assessment here. Um, and that the strategy works, all right? So we can check it over, you know, multiple types of stocks, all right? But now that we've done this, wouldn't it be nice to know, on the daily, which stocks are going up? Okay? Wonderful question. That's why we have the scanner. Alright. So now we want to know, pivot low is true. Alright, let's add another stock filter. Okay, let's say... Alright, let's do a beta... A beta of... One or greater, and let's do a yield of 15 or greater, and then since we know it's not going to be true, okay, then we're going to have to extend it out. So we'll say within eight bars, that way it catches something, okay, and we'll hit OK, and we'll hit Scan. Now, because we did within eight bars, it should be able to find something within the past eight bars with all of this criteria happened. Okay, 106 stocks. Wonderful. Okay, so now let's save our scan query. Okay, and we're going to call it that one scan I built on... YouTube that one time with that one guy. Sweet. All right. So now let's go in here and we'll pull up that scan onto some charts. Okay. Now we want that one really overly long scan that no one wants to read again. And we'll pull it up. All right. And I believe we scanned in all stocks. Okay, now oh, we only scanned the S&P 500 and still got 106 results. Okay, so let's pull it over to our charts here, and let's pull up a stock here. Okay, and we asked it to tell us when it was true within, you know, how many bars. 
um, eight bars, and it was true within eight bars. Okay, now if we come in here and we change it, um, you know, edit, come down, and go back in and edit, you're within so many bars. Okay, let's edit within two bars. So that's going to be within two days. We had an up signal fire off on the daily within two days. Okay, now watch it repopulate. It's probably going to change. Maybe not because we have had one, two, so that was our up signal, that was our buy signal. Oh, no, wait, three. Oh, okay, so maybe we have to go in and change it to three. Okay. You know, just to show that it's populating and will work. Okay, but the idea of it works. Okay, but we have to show, you know, here that it works. So if we go in and change within three, and hit OK, and hit save, and hit OK, now we should get some of those results. Every one of these stocks will have an arrow, three candles, and or days apart. Okay? Understand? You follow? That one's not there, though. Maybe it was supposed to be. Okay? So, but that is an accurate way to see the stocks that are going up. They are issuing a buy signal on the day. So, instead of waiting around day by day by day by day, going, which stock should I buy today? How about you build a scanner and figure it out for ourselves? Wonderful. So now we've done that. Now we know which stocks, you know, it might not go up a lot, but we do know it's going to go up some. Okay? You know, I'm not saying you should trade only off of this, but let's go in and I am going to personally hone this down back within one bar. Okay? Because I want to know exactly when that is true. Okay? Now, and if we wanted to change, we could even go in and change this and say put that on the four hours time chart and hit save and hit OK. All right. And I believe we will have saved that. That's going to be now on the four hour time chart. So I'll have to make sure we go in and you know, make sure that that knows that it's the four hour time chart. OK. And with extended hours. So now we'll be waiting for the four hour time chart for this to fire off. So let's see how that would have looked on the four hour time chart. On the four hour time chart, it looks like, you know, that particular strategy here all year long, you'd be up $1,184 had you started back in May with a modest $46 investment. Okay, so, you know, absolutely. So make sure you comment below, you know, and uh, I, I can share this code on GitHub. You know, that's where I store all of my code at. That way uh, you can get some of the other indicators. And uh, make sure you queue in for the next video where I'm going to use these indicators to buy and sell and give you the results. Keeping in mind that this PNL is based on a 10 stock, um, and, you know, just buying 10 shares, not 100 shares or 1,000 shares. You know, I went, you go into your global uh, settings and change how many, you know, contracts you would typically get and that's where you get your P&L number from at the bottom so in most cases it is based on a hundred trading um, you know a hundred uh, stocks per trade a hundred contracts per trade because uh, you would have to go in and change that default um, otherwise mine is set to 10 so that's where my P&L comes from so all right very cool so yeah, subscribe, like it, and I'll catch you on the next one. Gosh, isn't this fun.